in the room podcast to talk about his second professional MMA fight taking place at NEF 47 on May 14th is Nathaniel Grimard. What's up, my friend? You're a regular in the room podcast, my man. Yeah, man, I appreciate it. Thank you for having me again. Oh, dude, I always love catching up with you and, uh, you know, talking about your your journey through this MMA career of yours, bro. You made your uh, your professional debut back in February, brother. NEF 46, uh, a small venue, very intimate setting. You've been there before as an amateur, but this time, taking that step, man, uh, let's recap, bro, and, and talk about that experience and how you felt in the cage as a pro. Yeah, man. I mean, I've been so active the past like year and a half where I'm starting to become pretty comfortable in the cage. Um, so it, yeah, it's always like nerve wracking and stuff, especially with your pro debut, you get more on the line, but went out there, got the job done and now we're on to the next one. Yeah. As far as the job done, bro, uh, took on another dude making his amateur career, another new England kid in there prospect who is actually on the card again, Anthony Vasta, man, as far as the, the, the fight itself, it was, it was mostly mostly contested on the ground as a grappling uh grappling affair did you know that going in that was primarily how the fight was gonna go yeah i mean you know i like boston you know nothing but respect for him but we off film we knew what we had to do to get the win it wasn't the most exciting thing but at the end of the day i mean i'm one know as a pro now um so you know yeah the experience will come on the feet but we just need to get the first win um that's really it uh, as far as the win, uh, your first time in there as a five-minute round, you went 15 minutes. It isn't the first time going 15 minutes. You have fought for an amateur title going the distance. As far as the rounds, did that, you know, was that any different to you, uh, the longer rounds? What was the difference between that and a, and a three-minute round as an amateur? Yeah, I mean, there definitely are. I mean, it's actually two minutes, you know. It's almost you get almost a half, extra half a round for each one. Um, but I mean, you're in there, everything's going a lot faster than you think it is. You know, you're watching the fight, it might be a little bit boring, but once you're in there, like it flies by, or it's just on the moment. Um, so yeah, we were ready. I mean, Devin's kicking our ass every day with conditioning. So I think I wasn't worried about that at all. It's, I knew I could tire the kid out and kind of just grind it out if I needed to. Now, as far as moving forward, uh, I would imagine those five, five minute rounds are going to be in your favor as far as, you know, your grappling style and your longevity in there as far as your, your gas tank and all, uh, correct? Yeah, I mean, I love pushing the fast pace. You know, I'm not, I if I get tired, I know the other guys are going to be way more tired. So um, I'm looking to show that this upcoming fight too, but um, whatever, whatever happens, happens. You know, I'm ready for anything that this kid brings. Well, as far as, you know, making your, your way up the, you know, the, the, the pro ranks and all that other stuff, uh, anything changed in this training camp? Uh, anything added? Anything new? Nutrition? Anything uh, going on as far as that? Nothing crazy new. You know, we'll ramp up the training a little bit because you do have to get ready for um, five minute rounds. Um, and Aaron Lacey now is at Nostos full time. He's been there for probably like six to eight months. Um, so working with him every day is really, I feel like that's excelled all aspects of my game. So um, mm -hmm. nothing specific though about like nutrition or anything, I would say. Well, he's, uh, you know, kind of almost, you know, around that same weight as you, uh, maybe a little lighter, but how, how does that, is that one of your main guys in there at the, at this moment now that he's there full time? Yeah, he's definitely one of my main guys. Um, we're getting working almost every day together. Um, he's a 45 or two. He's a solid, strong kid. Um, I mean, not a kid, he's older than me, you know, but uh, he's, he's, a solid, he's a solid dude. He's fighting, he's trying to stay active as too, you know, he's, he's chasing that dream to get signed by that next big promotion. Um, so, yeah, I'll keep an eye out for him this full year. Excellent. Are, are the training partners you're getting work there? I know uh, you've had a couple of uh, guys, you know, fight for uh, Cage Titans on the on the Muay Thai side of the Nostos. Uh, you getting any work with some of those youngsters in there that, you know, are up and coming like you were at once? Yeah, man. I mean, all those guys really are knocking the door at that pro level, I think. Uh, like you said, Brody just made that Muay Thai debut. He's always getting better. He hasn't been at the sport for too long either. Um, Kyle Pufal, he's going to get some big fight news coming soon. So I'll keep an eye on him. He's very high-level striker. He's getting well-rounded. Um, we got a lot of guys. You know, Kyle Hill, he's only 2-0. and He's looking to crack those rankings soon, I think, too. Um, yeah, I mean, we're always... <laughs> We got RJ too. RJ just fought on that last uh, NF card, I think, when I uh, fought Billy from Jackson Wings. So, 
Yeah, man, uh, trying to take over this year, so I can't wait. <laughs> yeah, looks it. And, uh, you know, there's other, there's other, you know, guys or, or ladies that come from other camps, make their way to Nosto. So you're getting some work from, uh, you know, other looks from other camps as well. Um, going into this fight, uh, now, you're fighting another guy undefeated, 1-0. and oh. This dude has been at it a long, long time. He took some time off, it looked like, between his amateur career and making that pro uh, pro leap. But he came away with a win, um, I do believe, last year or so in his pro debut. What do you know about your opponent, Andrew Provost? He's 1-0. and oh, He's coming out of New York. He looks like a primarily uh, from a grappling um, kind of background. What's your take on him? Damn, man. I mean, he's 1-0. I think it's a tough matchup, but, I mean, I can't wait for this one. He, uh, yeah, he had a lot of experience as an amateur. Um, he, de he definitely had way more than me. I think he was, like, 7-2 and two or something as an amateur, so he was, he was tough. Um, he just fought for some Vermont prom the v Vermont promotion um, recently for that pro debut. But I really don't know much, too, about him. We looked up film. We couldn't find much, um, so... We're just going to kind of go in there and whatever happens, happens. It's just going to fight my fight and look for that finish. Is that what you do? Is that kind of the game plan with, uh, you know, your your coaches and all of that? It's it's like what you're going to do and they have to adapt to that. Uh, you don't want, do you not watch much film on fighters uh, usually? I knew we will watch film. I mean, you always have to watch some film on whoever you're fighting, you know. But, I mean, for this guy, we really can't find much. We've only found a couple of fights, which... At the end of the day, it's it's whatever. You know, we're training to get better and just improve all aspects of the game. So we're going to step in there. Um, if we have to adapt with the grappling or striking, then that's what we'll do. Um, but, I mean, the priority is just getting that win. So if we have to strike the whole time, we will. If we have to grapple the whole time, we will as well. Yeah, he's a bizarre, uh, bizarre, bizarre cat. This dude has been fighting, I think, since 2010. Uh, like you said, 7-2 or so. A lot of submissions in them wins. I think his last amateur fight he had a ko but on topology it's saying it was a heavyweight fight and it looks like his opponent was a uh, 260 pounds i don't know if it's a typo but the, his opponent looks awful big do you know anything about that like if he had a fight like he just jumped in there against you know it was just a a roundup of guys going at it like do you know anything about that yeah, we saw that too. We were a little confused because um, I know that guy he fought was a heavyweight. He's a big dude, but I mean, I I couldn't tell. I know he's fought at like one seventy. Yeah. I doubt he's fought over that. Hopefully, it's a typo. But at the same time, like, I don't care. I mean, I signed the contract. Actually, so, yeah. and we're fighting weight class. So it doesn't matter. <laughs> dude, I don't think he was two sixty five back in two thousand seventeen. Because no I way. think that fight. Was that. <laughs> but like you said, um, I think most of his fights as amateur were at the welterweight level. That last fight that you talked about back in September, where he came away, away with that that pro debut win, I think that was a, a lightweight fight, one fifty five. That's what at least said yeah. it on paper. As far as you, you're fighting him at one one hundred and fifty pounds, a catchweight bout. Yeah, he he fought last fight was at fifty five. Um, the fight I think was offered him at forty five. I knew he was at fifty five. Um, if he didn't want to make the weight, so forty one fifty in the middle, that's fine with me. I mean, less weight than I have to cut. So, um, yeah, we'll be ready to go. Feel good about that weight cut. Um, see you from there. Well, as far as you, as far as where you want to go, as up in your career, is, is featherweight is 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 that your weight? Correct? Is that where you want to be? 45, yeah. It's, yeah. I mean, 10 pounds is a lot more to cut, especially if you're already getting, you know, a little sucked out at 45. So, I mean, I'm, I'm not a small, like, 45 or yeah. even. I'm 5'10", you know. A lot of these guys are, like, 5'6", five, 5'8", five, that are, might be at 145. Um, so, 35 might just be a stretch for me. We'll see. Maybe the weight will be right when a few more fights down the road. But for right now, I'm just staying at 45. Okay, cool. Um, as far as his last fight, I do believe there was film on that. Is that the fight that you you got film on, or was there something else out there? Because I like I like you, I couldn't find anything on him um, as far as like so, uh, where he was fighting any film, except for that that last fight. Is is that something you studied? And if so, uh, what do you see from this guy? Yeah, I mean, we watched that last fight uh, when he fought Rooney, um, that fifty five fight. He was a good grappler, you know. He had good top pressure. Kind of, it's literally the same thing I did to Vasta. You know, I was on top and just looking to advance. Um, he did the same thing um, in his fight, so it makes it for a great matchup on my part. You know, it's going to be 
right now you look on paper, it's a 50, 50 matchup. You get two good grapplers. Uh, so, I mean, I, I obviously am very confident going to this fight. I think I have the advantage on the feet and on the ground. So looking for that finish either way. Excellent. Well, your last two fights, I do believe were at the, the smaller venue, um, very intimate, very beautiful place. As far as, you know, having that crowd behind you, we got a bigger place coming here. Um, you know, how far, is that from you compared to the last place and what kind of following and crowd are you uh planning on taking with you yeah man i mean it's not too far you know i think it's like 30 40 minutes north of portland so yeah it's a little bit further but it's not like out of the way too far out of the way for people um and i've always had a great support system you know um always selling a decent amount of tickets that's about the same same amount i sold my last fight as well surprisingly so um Hoping to have home crowd advantage. Um, he's coming into my house, so I can't wait. Nice. He's coming into my house. I love it. So as far as more, more Nost Nostos uh, uh, fighters, are there more on this card with you, or are you running solo and carrying the team with you? Yeah, man. I, I probably forgot to mention earlier. Sorry about that. But we got two other guys. We had David Burke. Um, I believe he's fighting at 85. Um, it's his amateur debut. And we got Ross Danner as well. He's fighting Mo, um, which is a great fight. I'll keep your eye on that fight. Ross is a dog, so I can't wait to see that one. Um, but the thing is, me and me, David and Ross, we're all we went to high school together. We're on the same oh, high school wrestling team. Um, so now we're representing Nostos for that fight card, which is awesome. Excellent, my man. Congratulations on the success uh, from the wrestling team uh, leading into this, man. Great, 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 great. Uh, and you have wrestlers there to, you know, to tune you up, go back and forth. Great, great. Um, as far as what we expect to see out of you, bro, um, what, we a couple of months, two or three months removed from that last fight. Got that first fight under your belt as a pro. Now, you know, you might be able to gamble a little bit here in this fight. What do we expect to see out of you in your second professional fight at Net 47? Yeah, man. I, I mean, I really can't wait for this fight. I don't think I've been as excited as I have been for this fight. Um, I'm looking to strike with this kid. I'm looking to gra out grapple him. Um, if he wants to wrestle and grapple, that's fine. I mean, I think I'll be able to catch his neck or throw up. This. I got some decent guard game, too. So just looking for some surprises, get some uh, finishes and be a good night for Nostos. Excellent, my man. Um, last questions before I let you give your shout out sponsors and all that good stuff. Um, Man, it's early in the year. You've already had a fight this year. Um, how look? How busy are you looking to stay? Um, you had a, a, you know, your Amy Amy career was really compact. A lot of fights in that, and it looks like your pro career has kind of like taken off from that. Are you looking to stay really busy? Maybe every three months having a fight, or are you looking to take some time off here and there during the summer? Yeah, I mean, I'm still young. You know, I'm only 24, so obviously I want to stay as active as I can, but. It's tough with this sport, you know, you get banged up pretty easily. It's your, you're stepping in a cage, but you know, um, so if I'm healthy, I plan to be on this next NEF card in um, July to just keep fighting as much as I can. I mean, I'm chasing the dream right now. So it's one fight at a time. Excellent, my man. Well, congratulations, bro, on that, you know, that last win to get over that, that, that professional hurdle and congratulations on another matchup against a, a, a looking on paper, a stud. Uh, who's been in hiding for a while. So that's going to be a very exciting fight to, you know, people just to see what's going to go on there because uh, we have no idea. So with that, Nathaniel, man, thank you so much for the time, man. We're a week and a half out from this big fight of yours. So last thing, shout out, sponsors, social media, and uh, I'll let you get some rest. Yeah, man, thank you. Yeah, shout out to all my coaches at Nostos, you know, with Devin Powell, um, Carolyn Powell for everything she does. We got Nick Miles as a striking coach, all my training partners, Aaron, Brody, Kyle, RJ. A um, few sponsors this time. We got KJ Billado and Sons Construction out of Manchester, Hagen's Motor Pool in Rochester, um, Seven's Bar, Bar, Bar Shop up in Biddeford, Maine, which is actually not too far from the venue. Um, we got Killian Murphy, actually, he used to fight amateur news his own electrical company coming up. So he's doing some great work with that. Um, sure, I might need to miss a couple sponsors, but you'll see him soon. <laughs> Excellent, man. Hey, giving back both ways, man. Businesses, small business, and then you guys feeding, yeah. off, feeding off each other. That's what it's all about, my man. Last thing, uh, social media, shout that out, and I'll let you get out of here. Yeah, Facebook is just Nathaniel Gamard, and same as Instagram is just Nathaniel Gamard. Um, keep tuning there for all those fight news and all those promos. I can't wait, man. Excellent, my man. Well, dude, we'll see you in a week and a half. Nef 47, May 14th, a Saturday night. Love Saturday night fights, man. With that said, Nathaniel, thank you so much for the time, man. Rest up. We'll see you in a little bit. Awesome. Thanks, man.